I know Burn. this might come on straight To the point, girl, I want you in the worst girl, way I just need a second just to touch base to touch You base. got it all, girl, I must got say all, I know say. this might come on straight To the point, girl, I want you in the worst girl, way I just need a second just to touch base to touch You base. got it all, girl, I must got say all, I know Hey guys, it's me, Sianne Marie, and I'm back with another video. And as you can see, I'm giving you very island girl. I'm giving you very vacay. And the motherfucking why it's still cold outside. I'm giving you very much those type of teas. I'm giving you very, <laughs> I'm giving you very much island girl teas. And um, y'all, I did some faux locks or fox locks, or whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did some of those. And I freaking love it, y'all. This took me four freaking days to freaking do. Yes, it took me four days. Um, This was my first time doing this hairstyle. The way that I did it, it could be finesse to be, doing, to be done an easier way. Like, there are other videos on YouTube about how to do it different ways. But this is how I did mine, you guys. Um, Yeah, and it did take me four days. But I actually really, really love these faux locks. And they're long. It has the curls on them and everything. Um, my background, I know this is won't be shown throughout the video of me doing my um my hair, but I just got this from Amazon like two days ago. It goes so perfect with this hair look and it gives me very much island girl. So yeah, you guys, um if you haven't already make sure you click that subscribe button down below. And now before we get into the video, I would like to thank for sending me this hair and making it possible for me to do this hairstyle i'm so sorry that it took so long to actually get it um done and distributed but i've had other hair companies reach out to me do other hair reviews and i didn't want to get any more packages from other countries if you know what i mean but um it's finally done and um i hope you guys enjoyed this look um make sure you follow me on instagram and i'll follow back instagram and snapchat so i'll leave all that down below as well as everything that's going on here everything that's going on here you guys so um thanks for sticking around thanks for 20k and let's get straight into this video on how to get this look so because some of my footage was deleted i was not able to show you guys on camera but i will show you guys on a voiceover so you want to get you some braiding hair i use some blonde braiding hair i use four packs that i will link down below and then i use my crochet two times perm peruvian um in the color 27 and 18 inches crochet hair and then lastly i use my crochet hair in the color in a texture water wave and the color ps 27 slash 613 and this hair has brown and blonde in it so that's how i was able to get um those colors but for the crochet for the blonde i use the braiding hair um so before you begin your hair your braiding process you of course want to moisturize your hair i use a lot of body coconut shea oil um moisture leave-in curl cream and then after i moisturized my hair i then used some rubber bands and i braided it braided the hair and then i used my braiding hair to then um, braid my hair like box braids so that's how you want to prep your hair before you begin this process i was not able to i got the footage but it ended up deleting so right here in this voiceover i'm just telling you guys what to do before we begin the actual crochet process um so yeah before i crochet my whole entire head i just had some blonde box braids they don't have to be perfect they don't have to be evenly um parted because i didn't make mine neat in the back i just took sections of hair but in the front i did try to make it neat so taking my crochet needle oh so it's also very important for me to mention that when you are putting the rubber bands on your hair to then begin the braiding process make sure you make the rubber band loose so maybe like twist it around like four times and make sure the rubber band isn't tight to your scalp because you need more you need room for the crochet needle to go through as well as you don't want that much tension on your hair so it's important to make the rubber band um pretty loose but not too loose to the point where it will fall out feed it through the hair and because i left so much space it's so easy for it to go through then taking a curl a strand of curl remember you can just take one strand and make sure before you even put it through you want to fluff it out but if you forget to fluff this hair out um you can fluff it out once you feed it through the reason why you want to fluff the hair out is because you want the hair to cover the braid 
so and then it makes it more look more like a dread if you don't fluff it out it's basically going to turn into a twist but you want it to turn like into like kind of like a dreadlock so that's why it's important to fluff it out so now it's fluffed out make sure the crochet needle is open or the crochet is open and this hook it onto the hair you close this strap right here you feed it through the hair like so once you feed it through the hair you want to take one side of the hair and just do it like that so you don't want to feed both sides through so now this is this hair is in between the braid like this so now you want to make sure that one side is longer than the other so now this side is hanging and this this side is short and you're just gonna start wrapping around this part right here where I said leave a little bit of space because you don't want your hair to be too tight so that's why I said don't make the rubber band too tight because now you're gonna be wrapping it around again so you just want to wrap around just literally just wrapping the hair around so once I first start to do this step it's a little bit slow for me for the root I move a little bit slower but basically you just want to wrap the hair around using your index finger and your thumb to then twist it and then use your other hand to then wrap it around so just do it like this and making sure um, so what you want to make sure because this took me a long time to learn you want to wrap it around itself um, twice so wrap it around like this and then wrap it around like that again so making sure you kind of wrapping it around twice we're after where you wrapped it so for example I'm gonna wrap it and then I'm gonna wrap it again around itself but I'm gonna move down at the same time so basically y'all just wrapping it here around the braid so when you do this you don't want to do it too tight you don't want to wrap the hair around tight because you want it to stay fluffy and then it's you move faster when you don't wrap it around tight So we get it to the end, and as you can see, that wasn't enough hair. So we're just going to keep wrapping it around. Um, and when you have some remaining hair, you want to wrap it around itself again, and you want to move upwards. So moving upwards and moving upwards around the hair. You can do this with this piece too. You're going to move upwards, upwards with the remaining hair, because then that's going to secure the lock right here even though we have more hair to add on. So after that, I take my lighter. I use a lighter. You can use super glue, hair glue, nail glue. Not hair glue, but nail glue or super glue. But for me, I just light it. And you want to be careful with this, of course, because you don't want to burn your damn hair. And when you light the hair like this, like fake hair, it sticks together. It bonds together. So it makes it solid so where it doesn't unravel. So now that's solid. Then I'm going to take another strand of hair because we have to finish this down the um, ends. So I'm going to take another strand of hair. I'm going to fluff it out and I'm going to wrap it around the braid. So now taking the hair after I fluffed it out. I'm going to take the end of the hair right here. And then I'm going to wrap it around where I just burnt the hair to secure it. So... Well, actually, I'm going to go a little bit further up where it's already wrapped. And then I'm going to wrap around the hair once again. So just wrapping around. Because one strand is not going to be enough for a long braid. Um, but you can make your braid as long as you want the braid to be. To be honest, you can make it as long as you want. But it's going to take, you're going to have to use more crochet here in order to get the full lock. Um, on the on the braid so just wrapping it around wrapping it around and we're just gonna wrap to the end of the hair And as you wrap and get down to the end, the, the braid is going to get skinnier. So just wrapping it around itself like that.
and you can go as long as you want um and i stop where it, when it gets like thinner and thinner so i'm about to stop right here so now i'm stopping this is where i want my full lock to end this is how long i want it so to secure it because this looks skinny as um because it's starting to get skinny because i didn't double the hair i'm gonna go up the hair again so i'm gonna go up the lock so with this remaining hair right here like i did the first time i'm gonna go in the opposite direction and start twisting it and wrapping it around and going upward And like I said, we want to secure it even more. To secure it even more, take some scrap hair of the curl scrap hair that's already like shriveled up and stuff like that. And just take some scrap hair, making sure that it's thin, right? So where this part where I'm holding it, where it ended, I'm just going to wrap this part around this so it can secure it even more and we're still gonna light it so you don't want these locks to unravel so i really like to really really secure it and even you can take scraps and like cover off the blonde pieces but i don't mind the blonde pieces so now that i've wrapped that around i'm just going to burn this and make it more secure so once you burn the hair together it locks together it gets hard and is way more secure but always be careful with this part okay so now we have this small piece right here at the end this blonde piece and you can cut this piece off and now you have your faux lock now you can be done with this part so for these parts right here y'all that y'all see let me show y'all so the parts that you see that's like curled that has like curls at the end of it so as you can see I do have some curly pieces in the hair um if you want to do that so this is a lock that I already did it's um way shorter I cut it to right here so it's going to start right here so i left this part to show you guys how to add the curly pieces onto the hair um i have different lengths of locks i have locks where it doesn't have curls on it then i have some locks where it does have curls on it so i'm just going to show you guys how to add a curl onto the brown hair you can add a, um, a blonde curl or a brown curl it doesn't really matter but um in this case i'm just going to add a blonde curl to this part right here to this braid and I'm gonna show you guys in the hair the um, more wavier looser texture hair I'm going to take this hair right here and where the faux lock ended which is right here you can take the wavier hair or you can take this or you can take this hair right here let me show you so these are two different types of curls so you could take the wavy hair or you can take the kinky hair or you could do you could do both so I'm gonna do both y'all I'm gonna take both types of strands so you can do one or you can do both but I'm gonna take both of these this is my first time taking both you can do one um, I did one for the, the remaining of my hair so where the lock ended you just want to twist the hair around the lock where it ended so twist twist both strands or one strand or however many um, strands you want to use and I'm just going to twist it the twist it around the hair. So after twisting it around the hair, like I said, you want to take some scrap hair and making sure it's not a lot of scrap hair. You want to make sure it's really thin because the thinner you um, use, the thinner it is, the more tight it's going to wrap around. So. so with this hairstyle, you guys can obviously see that I did brown and blonde. I mostly did brown. Um... For the majority of my head and then i you know i chose to do blonde 
for like the end pieces so i mostly did well i did blonde and brown for the end pieces it depends on how much blonde you want in your hair it's kind of like i did like highlights um it doesn't have to be exactly like mine i just randomly chose where i wanted to put the blonde like because now you can see at this part i'm adding a blonde piece to a brown fox lock so you can just pick and choose it has as to how you want it after wrapping it around i'm just going to take my lighter and burn the hair together so bond it together and as you can see it's still the blonde braid right here I'm just gonna cut this part right here and as you can see I have the curly blonde hair and I'm just gonna cut it however long I want it to be so as you can see the hair is like really long so I'm just gonna cut it like right here these scissors are terrible so now you have a brown lock with the blonde pieces now you can add a brown piece if you want to or you can add a blonde piece I'm gonna show you guys how I do a blonde faux lock and then um, add the curly parts throughout the hair so for a blonde faux lock I'm not gonna be using a crochet here you can use um, the blonde crochet here to do it like this you can use the blonde but I didn't have those that many blonde crochet um, pieces so being that the braids are already blonde I'm going to be using the braiding hair just to wrap around the braid to make um, a faux lock now you can get some brown braiding hair and do the same thing and make faux locks you don't have to get the curls the curl hair but this is my first time doing it so yeah I use the uh, crochet hair and the braiding hair but so you want to just take as much as you want or however thick you want the braid to be I mean the lot to be I kind of like kind of measure it out to see if it's like kind of equal to each other like as far as the width so I'm just going to take the braiding hair take it at the end right here and this time I'm not going to be crocheting I'm just going to be wrapping braiding hair around the braid so just like so and because this um, hair is already blunt underneath it's a lot easier so I'm just going to be wrapping it around wrapping it around and just wrap it and this is a lot easier than the um, crochet hair and I see why people use braiding hair instead of crochet hair because I feel like it is it's a lot easier and it's a lot faster. But this is my first time doing it and I still like the way it came out. Whichever way is easier for you, um, you can do it that way. So I'm just going to be wrapping the hair around just like the other, just like the other ones I did. And to finish off the lock, I'm going to be taking some more blonde braiding hair. And then I'm going to go on the ends of it and then wrap it around like I did previously. So when you guys finish the faux lock off, you can add curls to each lock or you can not add curls to each lock. The reason why I didn't show me adding curls to each lock is because, you know, everybody might not like might not want curls at the ends but i did show you guys previously as to how to add the curl at the end of um the lock is all up to you guys but um in the beginning and and at the end i show you guys how it look as a whole now i'm just gonna recut the remaining of the hair and now you have a blind faux lock so now i'm going to be showing you guys how to do a mixed faux lock um, so you want to start off with the completed faux lock that is either brown or blonde. Um, in this case, I'm starting off with a faux lock that is already brown. So I'm going to be taking some of the braiding hair. Um, I'm going to be taking enough where that it looks as the same size as the um, faux lock that I already did. And basically what I'm going to be doing is just twisting the braiding hair around the faux lock that I already made. So as you can see, I'm just going to be starting at the root twisting it um enough so that it's secure and then i'm just going to continue to twist down the faux lock in a like um kind of like a candy cane type of pattern uh that's the best way i can explain it but just twisted it around um 
like a twirl or something you know what i'm saying like where you can see the brown in the middle of the blonde so basically i'm just twisting it around enough where you can still see the brown hair and to secure it i'm going to use the same method as taking a scrap piece of hair to use it at the ends of the hair and then using a lighter to then um, burn the hair so it can stay secured so this part is optional as well. I'm just going to be taking the remaining of the crochet here. And I'm going to be crocheting it through um, random fox locks just to have curls hanging through the fox lock. So I will not be twirling it around to make another fox lock. I'm just going to be tying this into a knot so that the curl can hang down. And it can just be like random curls throughout my hair. You can use as many curl pieces as you would like. But I was just showing you guys um, if you like to do this to give it a more a curly look with the fox locks themselves. Now I'm going to be taking my Eco Styling Gel um, for Max Hold to do my baby hairs. Now I'm going to be taking some hair jewelry that I got from the beauty supply store for only $2. You can get different types. You can get some strings as well. And I'm just going to be adding them to random um, fox locks in my hair. I'm going to be adding a lot of these. And then after that, we're all done with this hairstyle, you guys. So it's all done. Finally, um, this hairstyle took me four days. Four long freaking days um because it was my first time doing it and i was kind of moving slow with them but here are the finished product you guys i hope this little tutorial helped you out um i did want to go for let me sit down so y'all can see the full it's full potential i did want to go for the brown and blonde um look because i just i just love this color so much next time i'm gonna do black but for the first time i wanted to do something different um, I really like this color on me. I will be sure to link everything down in the description box below. If you like to know where I got my background from, I'll link that down below too because it's giving a vibe. Um, I feel very like hippie-ish, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, y'all, let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to see you guys in the next what the fucking video. I'm tired. This has been going on for four days now for like four years but yes yo i'm so excited i'll see you guys in the next mother effing video peace